hello you guys welcome back to another video we are going to be trying to finish off the archon quest i don't know how long it is to end it but um we are going to attempt to finish it today um i don't know if we will be able to we'll see but yeah i've been really enjoying this quest it's it's very interesting everything's well written and very exciting <laughs> that's i mean that's it really um i hope you guys enjoy also before we get into things i always say this please 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 subscribe it really does help me out there are leaves around Shh, Kozawa. <laughs> i know just the tune to a not right now but um what was i saying please subscribe that's it you know what that's it please <laughs> i would really appreciate it let's just get into things we're leaving the village house quote unquote Oh, there he is. What My man. Where did you come from? <laughs> well, as this you is see, I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are such a weirdo, but I, I love you. You were gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? <laughs> Where have you been anyway? Remember, he, yeah, he's not going to tell us. He's all secretive. Hey, it's okay though. You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Paimon's so mad. Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname. Go ahead, I won't slap you. Uh, um, ugh, never mind. Paimon's got nothing. <laughs> oh, poor Paimon. <laughs> well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time, so clearly I stayed in the village to investigate. Oh, so you were just listening in to our conversations and not joining. Anyway, I see. you plan to leave Aru village and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? Yep. Uh, enough with the silent treatment! Maybe he's just giving us some no. type of thing? I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. Why do you care? You're not helping us. What do you get? Hey, I'll have some. I love you, but you are not helping us at all. That's the truth of it. To be honest, Sino is being more of a help than you are. Once you decide to start helping us, maybe I'll change my mind. I'll hate them. You haven't helped us out at all ever since yep. we arrived at Aru Village. Call him out. Bold of you to question our choices. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're all talk. Mm-hmm. Hot buff man. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do, which I've now finished. <laughs> really? So t tell us you. about it. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. Oh my gosh, you sound... He reminds me of someone, but I just don't know who. And not from this game, just like another character that I'm thinking of, but I just cannot pull not it out. Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Well, okay. If we're not a team, why are you even, like, here then? You can leave. You can leave. There's there's so many things that wrong with your statement that you just said. What's the point of helping us then if we're not a team? We just, let's, okay, let's start over. We're a team now, all high thumb. Sino included, Candace included, Dia included. We're a team, so we have to tell each other these things. We tell you stuff, you tell us stuff. That the equal exchange. <laughs> right here in the village? Correct. How does Aru village feel about what we're doing? In That's other true. words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? No, to be honest. Some of them lied to us? Yeah, makes sense. Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Okay. Remember what Gandis said? Most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. Mm hmm That's because whether the Scarlet King or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. 
By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. Mm -hmm. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. Hey, I mean, that's fair enough. Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In oh, fact, her. she's been observing your every move since you arrived. Mm. The reason being, That's weird. to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. Ah, uh, that's why Sino said it's that. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. Oh my gosh, you were you just listening? You could have just came along with us. You know, you know how much. You, I guess, I guess this worked out. But like, I, I don't know. I feel like this is just, just tell us. <laughs> She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are Scarlet King fanatics in the village. Mm. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's next target. What goes Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. Interesting. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Mm. You know, I remember seeing a voice line, I think, a uh, Tignari voice line about Al Hatham, um, saying that he's very, he, he the way that he thinks is very probable, like, logical and improbable. Like he, I get what he was saying now. It makes sense. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. So you didn't go ask her yourself? You could have helped I'll us. pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. That's fair. What up, lady? Knock, knock. Open up. Miss Shawnee. Oh, as you're here? As we discussed here? earlier, I've brought someone with me. <laughs> Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Okay. Go on. Earn her trust. Anything for Is it you? Really that simple? <laughs> uh, may I call you Traveler? Sure thing, Miss Shawnee. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Yep. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. Why is that? Because it will only result in conflict. That's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? I don't know. Yeah, I can't promise anything, yeah! but... We came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. Yeah, I don't even know where we're from. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. Yep. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. Of course. I mean, we're kind of stuck in this world for a long, long time. So might as well do something good for the world. I want to trust you. Oh. My apologies for posing my questions like that. Nope. But to be honest, I didn't expect you to come back all for good. more information. No, you are all good. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. We have to help you. Can you can tell them. I'm sure she'll keep your secret. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what I told Al Haytham. Okay. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Ooh. Sometimes, 
I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Oh. <laughs> there are ghosts. No, Paimon, you dummy. Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance and always carries very Do you know emotion. what direction it could possibly be in? It used to be louder and more frequent. But ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, mm -hmm. it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. That's weird. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. Hmm. But, because we're in the middle of a desert, he would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar. <gasps> but it's been abandoned for years. Wait. Oh, is this the place? Oh, it's in terrible shape, and there's sand everywhere. Pot <laughs> Monsters, watch out! What? What? I mean, we were told it's abandoned, so of course there's going be monsters everywhere. Whew. They were easier to deal with than Paimon had expected. What were you even expecting? Uh, Super strong bandits? Or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky? Or, you know, something like that. Gosh, Paimon, you are so dumb. Hmm. Yeah, it's a dangerous statue. He looks super serious. We gotta stay on our A game, too. Okay. Hmm. This is the one. The one what? Damn, he's actually doing something for us. That's actually... Hey, he is the first character to actually help us to do something like that, I think. Let's go in and take a look. <sighs> hey, I'll hate them. We haven't found Squat. Are you sure we aren't wasting our time here? Probably not. We Patience. can find something hidden. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Okay. Until then, I'm taking a break. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't have to tell us that. He sits down. Wait, he even brought a book to read? <laughs> uh, what are you reading? Let Paimon see. I don't think you're going to like it, Paimon. This probably has to do with his research or whatever. He's a nerd. Okay, sure. Hmm. Huh? Uh. Um. Uh, <laughs> the you got this, Paimon. Positional propensity follow its natural trajectory. So, um, you got that? <laughs> he's so he's like he's like uh, he, <laughs> he doesn't know how to respond. Oh, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. <laughs> how is he so relaxed? Look at him reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this. He he's part of the academia. What do you mean? It wouldn't kill you to read a book hey, once in a while. Paimon's your Tibet travel guide. Paimon knows plenty of useful stuff already. Apparently not enough. And anyway, is that Paimon's fault that the books people read in Sumeru are so complicated? It looks so pretty. Ah, Paimon's getting so sleepy. Mm? Huh? What was that sound? There it is. Oh, I hear it. It's coming from that direction. That's creepy. I don't like it. Is it in the basement? Mm -hmm. It's from below. I don't like it. <gasps> but there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. You go down first, please. Oh, whoa. Huh? Mm -hmm. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Oh, the danger stuff. Oh, I see. There's a hole here. Um, oh, wait. I need to ha. clean it. Ha. Ha. There we go. Now we can go down here. I don't like this. This is making me feel creeped out. Look, there's someone over there. We need to be careful. Good idea. Let's approach him slowly without alarming him.
Yeah, all right. Hotham. Go first. This one of the academia. Your... Uh... He can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? He's one of the village keepers, Didn't I think. expect to see him here. You know him? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the academia. Uh -huh. He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No. And that's the problem. Him being here alone means that we might be too late. Too late for what? Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they oh. left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. It looks like they were in a hurry. As if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Oh, are you talking about the Don't divine Don't you think his captains? symptoms look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> the MRI guy that went mad. Correct. The Academia is behind all of this. First, the Academia spread a false rumor of the Scarlet King's resurrection, yeah. emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the Academia. Damn. As well as being able to exploit the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are yeah, offloaded, offloaded onto too. the Scarlet King's followers. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation are widespread. Yeah. The academia always using the desert folk as usual sadly Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises even if complications arise people will see that those involved are all followers of the scarlet king and look for no further explanation than differences of belief mm. the deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of sumeru will make sure of that the notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them, want them back, back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became mm. lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. I see. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. Mm -hmm. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Resource? For what exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted, extracted? into knowledge okay, capsules. Yeah, I was gonna say. Extracted? You mean, canned knowledge comes from people's brains? That would make sense. With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. How did you learn of this I'm the technology? Academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. I mean, makes sense. You better anyway, not be part of anything. Judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind, but. Something went wrong in the process. Hmm. Or perhaps his curiosity got the better of him and he used such a capsule for himself. No, that can be right. Most of the mad scholars had made contact. Yeah, divine consciousness in the force. That's what. Yeah. 
It's also safe to assume that the knowledge has something to do with the Fatui and the Doctor, and also the Baladir. They're using the Divine Capsules to... Yeah. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. Yeah, I'm not telling you. I'm not kidding. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting oh. canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. Okay, so basically they're just using all the knowledge from these mad scholars who've seen the divine knowledge to help the Balladeer to become a god, because that's what we saw. However, I can't help but wonder, what do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? Don't worry about the it. The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. But what is their ultimate goal? Who knows? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the Divine Knowledge Capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. The Academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. Very simple minded. This matter needs to be corrected. Just like fixing a typo in a book. I mean, there's other reasons why it needs to be fixed besides a like a typo in a book, you know, justice for the people, all that type of stuff, you know. Wait! Didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Yeah, that's what I said. Not to be callous, but no. <laughs> My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. <laughs> Okay, Alhazo, I need a little bit more sympathy from you. There is no just, shortage just of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? Yeah, we already saved three nations, so do you have a problem with that? Um, probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Yeah, your motives are more specific you can than personal. Say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. Yeah, I think he just doesn't understand human feelings and he doesn't think that way. That He has a very rational way of thinking. Which I think is going to be very, like, detract people from, you know, really agreeing with him. But, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> has been wanting to say this for a while. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not one of them. <laughs> you're just a weirdo. You're a weirdo. That's true, Paimon. <laughs> you're probably right. Damn, at least he agrees. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Gosh, stop. You sound like a Redditor. Please stop. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Yeah, but please stop being like this. You sound like a Redditor. <laughs> wow. That's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. Probably a little bit. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. <laughs> Sorry, that's so fucked up. I cannot believe he just said that. He's just like, yeah, I'm more likable. That's it. Gosh, he is... <sighs> so insane. We're back! We're back. How are you be guys? Tired. You should rest and take some water. You are too sweet, Candace. Thank you. Who's who? Oh, the unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. Why? Why do you just? I'll hot them. Just so, speak nicely. At one point in time. The abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the Academia's site for extracting Divine Cant knowledge. Yep. Yep, pretty much! Almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Someone has to be tracking us and know our every move. Someone close to us, maybe. Not close to us, but... Hmm... I don't know. Who? Our Kasha terminals, maybe? Because we're still wearing those. Is it possible because of that? We may have a mole in our midst. That's true. 
One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. The Kasha terminal, I think. Huh? Are our friendships that shallow? <laughs> I think it's really just because of the Kasha terminal. Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Can you just stop being so cryptic? These people are always so damn cryptic. Just say what you think. Oh, you guys aren't getting the idea, are you? J just say it. Just say it. Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Oh. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Damn. Choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> it is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. Okay, say them. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. Not on purpose, I'm guessing. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, <laughs> Alhatham. Since you were always acting alone. That is true. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. That's true. What are you trying to say? I think he's complimenting you, actually. Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamadra? I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamadra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. Damn. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Damn. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Mm -hmm. Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they escaped because of me. It's, it's not your fault, dude. Yeah. It's not like any of us would have known. They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're, sm you're getting smarter, Paimon. Let's go. What's wrong, Dia? I must go. There's oh. also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys! After him! We're going as a group. Let's go. Please, wait! I want to go too! Isak, I don't think this is a good idea for you, actually. Hmm. Trouble. That's what every child says in a movie, and then they get killed or, or hurt. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. Well, I guess you're leaving. Uh, never mind. I guess you're coming with us, kid. Yay! Let's go. Shadow, do you remember the route you took? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Okay. Oh. He waits for us. Wait, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. He turns around and everything. That's really cute. There's something here. What is it? What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. <sighs> and Paimon thought running around everywhere was You're already enough. You're floating, for it. Paimon. You don't get to complain. These are likely fragments of an academia-developed device, something hmm. akin to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Okay. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Yeah, me and Al Hatham split up together and everyone else goes off the other way. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it looks kind of scary. Yeah, it looks like a helmet this thing. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. I wonder what... What the thing Al Hotham is wearing? Is it like a hearing aid, maybe? Is he like death? Or is it just like a helmet, maybe? I don't know. How did it end up buried in the sand? Because he doesn't have been part of the plan. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, he doesn't have ears. It's like his. Ear I don't know. What, what? I guess we'll find out in the future. They must have been attacked along the way. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand. Hmm. I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. Okay. I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. Voices, over there. Oh gosh, why would you do that to me? That fucking that sounds like me. an argument. 
Whoa, you have really good ears. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hmm. Very interesting. Let's listen in. I don't doubt my girl Dia. She's my bestie. Don't don't you talk bad about her. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to You're one of us. We would never lie. Hmm? Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Dia? Why would you Dia? I do Sorry, I almost I almost yelled at I'm recording at night. I told you guys it was a fucking bad idea to bring the kid with us. Hey, what are you doing? I told you guys, but you didn't huh? listen. Didn't you say you'd help me find grandpa? You are such what? a stupid kid. Why are you I'm on their side? <sighs> <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Ugh, this complicates things. You've betrayed Aru village? I don't think she's betrayed. I think she's just trying to figure out something. So, this is the great General Mahamatra. Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Whose side are you on here? I think what happened is before the kid jumped into things is uh, Dia was offered a deal by the, the Emirates and Dia wanted to talk about it, telling him, I don't want to join them, probably. That's what it is. Shut it, Paimon. <laughs> As you should, Dia. As you should. It doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing could deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting the Scarlet King. It's not too late yet. The village keep... Mad scholars aren't gonna bring the Scarlet King back to life. Oh, even she doesn't want to... Damn. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. We desert dwellers how? will never Tell trust us the how. likes of you. I, I need to know. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. That's true. Perhaps we should. Okay, Sino, calm down. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? Huh? Oh, hi, Thom. These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. What? 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 What is wrong with you? What? These scholars were exiled from the academia. I guess he academia. is sacrificing himself. You I, know what? On the other hand, am their current scribe and oh. will be a much greater asset to you. Hey. Honestly, take him. <laughs> Wait, you can't be serious. I think he has a plan. I think it's fine. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? Precisely. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. <laughs> Jesus, I'll hide them. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? I think he'll be fine, to well, be honest. Well, that would be bad luck for me. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of funny. However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> what do you have against the academia? You know, you are very just close minded and stupid. <laughs> Not all desert dwellers believe in the Scarlet King, mm -hmm. and the same applies to the academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the academia's way of doing things? Mm hmm. <laughs> You academia scum. Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. Gosh, I you guys are really enough. dumb. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. That is true by him. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? We've known each other for years. Of course I do. Wow. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. I'm very curious about why uh, all have them An arm from the flame main. You've piqued my interest. But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? 
No one's a fool here, dear. We're mercs. The mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. <laughs> Let's do it right here then. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. Wait, she's cutting up. She's what? <sighs> He just wants to make things more difficult. Yeah, That's don't fine. do it. Are you crazy? We came here to save lives. One arm she's, for that many people just, is still a pretty good deal. She's just deal getting rid of her me. arm. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. D this is really happening. No! I'm supposed to think of something? You don't have to go this far. That's not for you to decide. What the... Do it! What is happening? Dia! Dia! Ring! <laughs> is this actually happening? <laughs> Sorry, Traveler's face made me giggle. Stop! Oh! What's wrong? Can't do it? Flame Main, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. Where's the sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? Sorry, Isaac really had to complicate things here. I feel like we could have, this could have turned out very differently. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Oh, <laughs> damn. You... That was crazy! Have you all lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Oh, Paimon just is yelling because she cares. Hmm. Then I just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. Damn. At least she's, you know... I'll be worried about you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. Oh, this is so cute. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. This is so cute. Oh. I don't doubt it, Sino, but this is about more than me and them. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. Yeah, I you should have. Trusted you. You should have, kid. But you're a kid, so I can't blame you that much. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa, so I'll do whatever it takes. Wow, this is so intense. Whatever it takes. You just might be scholar material. I <laughs> should shut up. <laughs> huh? Are you serious? The Eremites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little <laughs> That's true, actually. is essential to be successful in research. That, that is true. I think if you become a researcher, you have to be a little bit insane. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? He loves bragging about himself. That's just how he is. Okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is going to be the hard part. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. I'm actually going to end it here. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. I actually thought for a second, I was like, that doesn't make sense if her arm gets cut off now, but I, I did was very scared about that. Oh my gosh, a lot has happened. I think next video will be the last part, but I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, just look forward to it. Um, I, this is all very exciting, very interesting. So yeah, look out for everything. I ho I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I don't know when I will I'll, we'll post the next video, but we'll see. Have a lovely day, night, or whatever time it is for you. I really appreciate, again, really appreciate you guys. Leave a like and comment if you would enjoyed you know I, I always reply to comments uh that is it and